All right, welcome back to Carolina Morning. Today is National Meatball Day. Executive Vice President Adam Hayes with Larkin's yeah. Restaurants is here. Limoncello, part of the Larkin's Restaurant Group. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're here talking about how to make meatballs. Yeah, so this is, uh, Limoncello was, you know, it was, it was conceived out of uh, Larkin Hammond's desire to pay homage to her grandmother who immigrated here to the United States. And this is her meatball from, recipe. From Italy? From Italy. Okay, yep. wait, and tell me, ex as we're so talking this is, about this, explain Yeah, this hangs this. in the back of the restaurant. Uh, we have this. This is the uh, naturalization form um, that she filled out. But this is, you know, we call her Mama Greco. That's mm -hmm. what Larkin always calls her. So this is Mama Greco's meatball recipe. So literally from Italy, where she came from. Yeah, that's how Larkin, so this is authentic. she grew up learning how to cook Italian food from her. So the whole point of the limoncello concept was that we would do that, a neighborhood Italian restaurant that just cooked really solid Italian food. Yeah. All right. So here so we go. You ready for yeah, it? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. So this is a mixture of uh, beef, pork, and veal. Okay. Um, so it's just ground. Um, could third you, to third to third. Could you use other types of meat or just beef or just... You can. Really okay. whatever you're into. I think the, the pork and the beef mixture works really, really well. Okay. Uh, the veal's kind of taking it to another level. Okay. Um, you can find a lot of the grocery stores will do a meatball mix, so they'll do a grind that has that mm -hmm. already ground in there. So that I'd recommend using that if you're going to pick it up at the store. It's a lot easier to come to limoncello and eat one though. Okay, okay? all right, no, that's a good point, right. good plug there. The next thing <laughs> here is sort of the the secret part, right? Okay. So um, we incorporate some some dry bread, uh, which is a ciabatta. Uh, we soak it in milk. Some we put the egg mixture in there. It's got some herbs. It's got some cheese. It's got some secret seasonings in there. Mm -hmm. You know, sort of in this realm over here, okay. some basil's and cheese and all that. Uh, so you let that soak overnight. You really want the dry bread to soak in all the moisture. Okay. Um, so then from there, it's pretty easy. We just just take that mixture, and then you just cut it into the meat. Okay. And you don't work it too hard, but you definitely want to incorporate it in there. If you don't want to get you know get your hands dirty like I'm doing now, you can yeah. always throw this in your you know your little stand mixer at the house and and mix it all up. And tell me again what some of these herbs are sure, right that's, here. Yeah, we got a little thyme. Uh, okay. Basil primarily is what's going in this meatball. Okay. Uh, and that shredded uh, Parmesan, Parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese, okay. And then, you know, there's a lot of different forms of Parmesan cheese. You got Asiago, they're all kind of in, in the same round, same flavor profiles. Okay. Um, and then from here, you just want to form your meatballs. I recommend a very big meatball. We do okay. uh, about a four and a half ounce meatball. So that's a like good handful of meat. Okay. Yeah, so you just sort of, you know, Depending on what you're into, like, you know, you put one of these on the table at the Oh, house, my God, that's like, an entire meal. It's like, wow, look at that thing, you okay. know. Uh, they, they are going to cook down. They're going to cook out just a little bit. Okay. So I just form them in my hand. What I'm doing here is, is just kind of warming up the outside. Okay. So a little of the fat that's within there is going to sort of, you see how it makes that sheen. Mm -hmm. it sort of encapsulates the whole meat so it doesn't just fall apart on you. And then how do you cook these? Uh, so what you want to do is, what I do a lot of times is just, I want to get like a little roast on them first. Okay. So I'll put them in the pan that I'm going to cook them in. Uh, I'll put them in the oven, a little bit of olive oil on the bottom of the pan and on top of the uh, meatballs. And just something simple. All you got to do is just kind of just do like a little drizzle. If you got one of these mm. things, just do a little drizzle over it, get it coated good. Roast in the oven at high temp, like 425 okay. for just a, like 10 minutes. You're trying to get a sear on the outside of the meatball. And then the key is to cover it in the red sauce and then cook it in the red sauce. So you're, and how do you make sure that it's like safe to eat on the inside? Well, you just want to cook it till it's done. So, okay. You know, do you use a meat thermometer, or you're just knowing that if, if it's in the red sauce cooking long enough? Yeah, you it's can use a meat okay. thermometer. Um, you know, it's a ground beef product, so I would definitely cook it to the to the 160. Okay. I think it's technically 165, but then you can let it rest in the sauce and cools out the rest okay. of the way. You don't want to cook them too far. We got about a minute left. Sure. Talk to me about the red sauce. All right. So the red sauce is is pretty simple for us. You know, it's a um, we use a really high quality tomato. Um, in summer season, we like to cook fresh tomatoes, mm -hmm. but uh, this is a canned tomato. It's called the Alta Cucina. It's a really really nice tomato product that comes in, and we we don't mess this up too much. This is really just some you know some onions, some tomatoes, a little bit of olive oil, some herbs, and then we cook it uh, overnight. And this is what it turns out to look like. So, and I'm hoping I am I allowed to try one, Adam? Oh, absolutely. And t before we have to go, talk to me. So, you guys are launching Meatball Mondays. Yeah, we thought it'd be fun since it's National Meatball Day, and, and it we're is, always looking it's for Monday. fun, fun ideas. So, at Limoncello, every Monday we're going to do three dollar meatballs. So, just come in and and make dinner out of meatballs. Okay, all right, and it's okay if I try this real yeah, quick. Yeah, let's get you a little cheese on there. How about that? And then, oh my uh, gosh. this is some like baby basil. Okay. See what you think of those. 
it was hot. Woo! <laughs> well, I'm making a mess. You got it. But it was delicious. Good. All right. Adam, Pass it off to me. <laughs> thank, you, no, thank you so much. Delicious limoncello, meatball Mondays. Go check it out. More Carolina Morning right after this.